This is our 1954 Mercury Monterey sedan. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. Following that, there will be a second walk around where I'll show close ups of all the cosmetic blemishes. And then there'll be some video clips of the interior as well as under the hood. So we purchased this car here locally this year. This is an excellent driver. While it was originally a 4.2 liter 256 V8, it has actually been swapped out for a 302. Uh, 302 and a four-speed automatic overdrive both are dated uh, between 79 and 83 So it's an excellent late drivetrain. The odometer was reset when that was swapped in which was just over 7,000 miles ago the Car was originally Bloomfield green So as you can see the green theme has been retained white roof looks excellent with the red wheels and white walls Trim pieces are quite good. Uh, the door handles show a little bit of oxidation. The midline trim is very nice. Front and rear bumpers are in good shape as well. Very dry car. There's one spot of bubbling. It's right here on the underside of this driver rear quarter uh, at the rearmost corner. But aside from that, body is nice and straight. Glass and light lenses are all clear and crack free, though the rear taillight lenses do show their age a little bit just a bit faded. They do have the uh, the blue dot in them. There is some peeling clear on the rear deck lid. As you can see there, you'll see it close up again later in this video. It's an excellent color. Uh, in different lighting, it kind of changed colors a little bit. It goes from a uh, kind of a dark green metallic to a turquoise. Looks really sharp. Hubcaps are in good shape, free of any oxidation or significant damage. This car has actually had R134 air conditioning added, so the more modern refrigerant, and it is functional. It's really, it's not a concourse car, it's a driver. It's an excellent driver. Uh, quite a bit of power. Shifts smoothly and on time. Always starts first turn. Idles cool and steady. Wouldn't hesitate to fly in and drive it home, regardless of destination. And now on to all the cosmetic blemishes on the car. So you can see the gap on the hood is slightly bigger on the passenger side, sorry, on the driver's side than the passenger side. Passenger side of the hood has a little bit of dust nibs under the finish. Now on the driver's side, See down towards the bottom of the door, there's a few little chips, as well as one on the flare there. You can see a little bit of cracking there just over the rear wheel and some bubbles in the rearmost corner. That's the only spot of bubbling on the car, that driver rear quarter corner. You can see just minor aging of the emblems. The trim is quite good. Around the rear. Now here's a good look at that peeling clear. Fairly ugly there. It's concentrated to the rear deck lid. You can see just very light oxidation, just age a little bit on the rear bumper. Now there's a bit of cracking around the passenger door lock. And then again, another angle, you can see those dust nibs, kind of an orange peel finish on the passenger side of the hood. Overall, pretty handsome car, excellent driver. Door panels, very nice, no kicked open markings, though there is some slight sun-related discoloring. Dash top is excellent. Uh, carpets are in great shape, no fade there. Again,
again, the R134 air conditioning is functional. The Sony radio uh, with CD player is functional. Gauges are all functional. Odometer was reset uh, when the engine was swapped in. The 302 has just over 7,000 miles on it. Carpet, very nice shape. Headliner, clean and tight. 